hi everyone and welcome to my channel oh my goodness guys i have missed youtube but i needed a little break to get an opportunity to kind of develop some content for you all and also get in the groove of my new job okay so if you are new here i'm from villa chastine i do videos based on planning organizing and unboxing i am also over on instagram at from villa chastine as well and today guys i am so honored to be reviewing a new planner for you all and so this comes right after national planner day i have been always a part of the Erin Condren EC Squad family, but it doesn't hurt to have a, a new planner in your stack every now and then and to try something different. So I was sent this planner from Power Place. Uh, it is a non-dated personal daily planner, so I can't wait to review it for you okay so also i'll be doing some reels and everything like that on my instagram so check that out and then also just subscribe to my channel and let's get started okay so i was sent this planner like i said from power place and it's very very much so new it's a non-dated planner and so far so good it looks great so let's go ahead and open it okay so i have it open here and it is the non-dated personal daily planner um it is intended for six months and it's 100 percent made out of eco-friendly material it looks really really good really really sleek off the top i'm thinking that it would be great for a work planner since um it's just real real basic and sturdy so let's take a look on the inside Okay, so when you first open it up, it's just a blank page. And then it has the title on this page. It looks like it is a place for you to write your personal information and in case of an accident or emergency. And then this is neat right here. You have a mind map page and then a vision board. So i am definitely into this like as far as my work planner you can do like i can do like a little mind map of where i want to go in the company and then also uh have a vision board for that and then the next page is goals for the year and then when you open up the next page it says goals for the year and it actually has it kind of like a guide for you for like january through december physical goal personal family etc and then here we are it's undated so this is the monthly calendar page and so you can start whenever you want if you wanted to start now let's just say august if you wanted to start in april whatever you want to do it's a six month planner or you can just pick and choose so i'm gonna definitely have to test this out and then of course you have the next month and the next month and then i'm pretty sure it goes on to the sixth month and then you go into your weekly uh pages and so you have like a last week review like what happened last week like that this is a good section because sometimes I need to know if there is stuff that I didn't get to the week before. Could I actually do it this week? And then it has notes and ideas and it's just like an empty space. And then you have your top priority for the week, your weekly plan, and then things to do to make this week great. And it looks like this goes on for every week. Now, next up, it looks like you get into 
your um, daily. So this would be your daily schedule and the time frame is from 1, I guess, a.m. until 12 a.m. the next day. And so this is one column and then the next column you have your task and at the bottom you do a day review and accomplishments. Now I enjoy the like reviews that they do here, but all of these pages, it looks like it's just a weekly page up front and then we get into the dailies and I'm just so uncertain why they wouldn't put some of the dailies with the weeklies because now you know you got to kind of switch it up a little bit and flip back and forth so I don't know how effective that would be as far as for me and the schedules that I do and so this is it for those and then you have a wish list I absolutely love this I make my own wish list worksheet related to different things that I like whether it be shoes handbags or whatever Ever. so I absolutely love these pages here and it looks like you got just some notes uh, note pages and then this is your contacts and then the bill payment tracker is on the back and then it has a little nice little pocket back here and then I guess a little divider if you wanted to divide it between the weekly and the daily pages so this is a pretty simple planner. I am going to try to take it to work and actually see how I can use it best, but it's a good planner. I enjoy it and I hope you enjoyed the review. It is Power Place and it is a non-dated personal daily planner. I guess you could say it could be a weekly and a daily planner. You can get it on Amazon or their website. So I'm so excited about this guys. I'm ready to try it. Also a little housekeeping. I missed you all. I cannot wait to start pumping out content for you all for the month of August. I hope you all are all moved into your Erin Condren planners and I look forward to seeing you soon. Now keep in mind that this is something I'm reviewing that may work for me. And so what works for me might work for you. This is from Vila Chastain to you. Bye everybody.